Hello, my name is Kevin Pyo. I will go over the topic number four. This video will profile Hayat Cindy. She is Saudi Arabian medical scientist, doctor, and a successful entrepreneur. She was the first Saudi woman to earn a scholarship to Cambridge University and is the first woman in the Gulf to earn a PhD in biotechnology. And in 2014, Dr. Cindy was named the 44th place as the most powerful Arab woman. She is one of the first female members of the Consultative Assembly of Saudi Arabia, which are members selected by the king to propose and draft laws. This is an amazing accomplishment because Saudi Arabia imposes many restrictions on women on their strict interpretation of Islamic Sharia, law known as Wahhabism. Genders are strictly segregated, women are banned from driving, women need permission from a male relative to travel, to get married, and even to enroll in a higher education. Taking into, that, taking into account that Saudi Arabia is particularly strict on women for culture and religious reason, it is clear that Dr. Cindy holds great influence and is a respected scholar in Saudi Arabia. In 1967, Hayat Cindy was born in Macau, Saudi Arabia. Ever since childhood, she was creative and she was a dreamer. But most importantly, she wanted to serve humanity. She wanted to make a difference in the world like others who have, who have with the help of science. She greatly admired Mary Curry, a pioneer research, researcher on radioactivity, and Isaac Newton, one of the most influential scientists of all time, and as a key figure in the scientific revolution. And just like them, Dr. Cindy wanted to help the needed with her breakthrough in science technology. She believes that many people are dying because they cannot afford or have access to tools to manage health conditions. Founder of Synoptics Technology with, Sa with Saudi Arabian seed funding, Hayat Cindy's major invention is called a Magnet Acoustic Reson Resonance Sensor, a diagnostic device that can monitor health conditions and diseases. Furthermore, she emphasized the use of affordable technologies. She plans to use materials such as paper, plastic, and glass as biochemical sensor with thermos elastic probe in which a drop of blood can give result of a health diagnostic within minutes. It is a breakthrough science technology soon to be released. Upon researching Dr. Cindy online, I came across a YouTube video that I would like to share. Uh, this is an interview done by UNESCO. Uh, and the, the interviewer asked Dr. Cindy what drives her in science, curiosity, and interest to improve lives. And um, let's hear that, her answer in person. What drives me to do my science is uh, when I see the needs of how we can uh, make the life of a human being a uh, better life. Uh, science was born to solve problems. And I feel like uh, with the talent of science, with the talent of innovation, we can solve all the problems again to face us, especially the deprived world. Uh, why they are deprived from the benefit of science and technology, and that's what drives me the most. How can I design, how can I make science accessible, affordable, to reach every single human being on Earth? As you can see, she devotes her life to serve people with the benefit of science technology. However, she does not stop here. She also created the I two institution in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. I2 stands for imagination and ingenuity. This is her way of expressing her passion of science and social innovation into a solution for unemployment in the Middle East. With nearly 40% of Arab population being 18 years old or younger, the region needs a solution that's both sustainable and scalable. I2 gives opportunities to young local scholars by sponsoring their inventions and business plans and providing with mentors. She supports many young generation and especially aspires women to become scientists and confident to make a difference in the world. All in all, I truly believe that she is the, one of the most leading scientists in the world today. Furthermore, in our economics of the Middle East class, Professor Habibi emphasized many times the crucial need to reduce unemployment and more investment on educational and welfare of these younger generation of the Middle East. Without a doubt, I believe Dr. Cindy truly promotes both of them while trying to devote her life to help all humanity, especially the needed ones. Um, and she is indeed a remar remarkable. Uh, so this is the end. Um, thank you for watching my video. Um, have a wonderful day.